Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Libby Flanagan. I am a somewhat crunchy granola, natural minded mom to this little angel right here. This is Addie. She's one day shy of four months old. Can you say hi? She's a camera hog. She just went to the potty. Yes, my four month old goes to the potty. We practice something called elimination communication. If you want to learn more about that, check out my video down below that I will link. And she has to go down in 20 minutes, which she normally goes potty about every 20 minutes. So we're going to make this video short, fast, and to the point. It is what I keep in my diaper bag for cloth diapering. We've taken Addie out a good amount of times now. We've gone on some longer trips as well. So she's going to hang out with her little wooden rattle and... I'm gonna go through what's in her diaper bag. All right, first, this is a diaper bag from Itsy Ritzy. This is actually very, very expensive, but I got it as a hand-me-down, so that was awesome. I definitely think you can find a diaper bag um, secondhand. Check out Goodbye Gear for that. If not, I will link this down below. I do really like it, but it is pretty pricey. One of the things I really like about it is that it stands on its own. It's balancing on my knee right now. Um, and it has these little grippy pads on the bottom. Um, so I pretty much don't have to worry about it falling over, which is really nice. The other thing that's really convenient is this pouch right here that doesn't have a zipper or anything. And that's the first pocket I'm gonna talk about because I keep easy access my burp cloths in there. I actually use these pre-fold cloth diapers um, that I got at one of my showers as burp cloths because they are so absorbent. This middle layer here has got so many layers of fabric. So these work as really, really great burp cloths and I like to keep two in my diaper bag. Um, in this easy oh access pouch right here, ready to go. So if I'm like, William, throw me a burp rag, he knows where he can grab those nice and easy right there. Then in the little front two pockets, I keep some backup disposables and wipes. I like to use the water wipes because they are mostly water and then a little bit of fruit extract. So I keep a couple disposables in case of emergency, although we haven't really had to use those yet. All the packs we got at my showers and stuff, we haven't opened, so I'm hoping I'll get to donate them. And this I got was part of an open pack, so I wasn't gonna donate that, but yeah. And then the other thing I keep easy access right in the front here is a little toy for her. If she's like fussing somewhere where we are, something like this usually. You want this? Here you go. Now we'll get to listen to that for the rest of the video. Something like that will help usually to calm her down. So I like to keep a toy in this little front pocket right here. And sometimes I'll even switch it out before we leave to something she hasn't seen before. I got this on Amazon, so I will link it below, but it's just a wooden like rattle toy. She's starting to get tired, like I said. So we're gonna keep rolling. Yes, we are. Okay. The thing that's nice about this bag is this front panel opens up like all the way. So I can get to something that's on the bottom of the stack or the top of the stack just the same, which is really nice. Over on this panel that I just folded out, there are two pockets. I don't actually keep anything in this bottom pocket, but in this top pocket, I keep her pacifier. The only one that I can get her to take is this one from Nature Sutton. It has a nice, pretty wide nipple, which is something you want to look for if you are breastfeeding. Your baby is more likely to take something with a wider nipple because it mimics the breast more. This one also, this round... This round portion right here touches her nose when she is using it, and that also mimics the breast. So we've really been loving these Nature Sutton pacifiers. They're all natural rubber, and they're poured in one mold, so there's not any like little tiny cracks and crevices for mold to grow in. You got your patsy. She just spit it out. Okay, but that that works like some of the time. I will say she's not a bit huge passy lover. What I have over here in this big pocket, we'll start from the top. I've got a dry bag from Assembly Baby. I will link this below. I have a code with them, Libby20, where you can get 20% off of their site. So definitely use that. This dry bag is really nice. So what I like to do is in the front pocket here, I will put all of my clean diapers that I know I have enough space. So I've got all my clean diapers here in the front. The way the assembly system works is that there are these inners. Um, which are the absorbent portion. They have a bunch of layers in here of absorbent organic cotton. And then, so you snap that onto baby. You okay? Yeah. Kick, kick, kick. Okay. So you snap 
that onto your baby and then on top of that you take one of these outers which are waterproof and you snap that on as well and then you are good to go so i love traveling with this system because all i need to bring are a bunch more of the inner portions and i can keep using the same outer over and over again and i like that on like a changing pad or whatever her bum is always on top of this, at least, if I'm changing out the inners. So I feel like it keeps her, you know, a little bit more sanitary and all that stuff. Um, and so I keep that in the outside of my dry bag. And then as they get dirty, do you have this strap? Can I have that back? Thank you. So as they get dirty, I move them to the bigger outside portion like this. And that way I know I have enough room in my dry bag for all the diapers that I brought because they're staying within the dry bag, but just moving pockets. Also in the front of this, I like to keep my stuff for diaper changes. So I've got more of the water wipes here. I've also got her diaper cream that we use, which is from Earth Mama. It is organic, all organic ingredients. I also keep in here some triple paste and this if she's getting a diaper rash, this does a really nice job of healing it up. A pediatric dermatologist recommended that to me. And then I also keep some disposable liners for her cloth diapers. We use these on top. It helps catch like any poo or anything. And then I can just toss those wherever we are. So that's everything I keep in the dry bag in those two pockets. I'm just gonna move all this to the side so we can keep going. Next down in here, I keep a change of outfit for me. So this is a nursing dress from Kindred Bravely. This is perfect to toss on if I get messy because it's just one piece. So it's a whole outfit change in one. It's just a short sleeve, knee length, nursing friendly dress. So I love this. I will link that down below for you. I also keep in here her Solly baby wrap because it travels really well. She takes really great naps in this thing. So if we are on the go and she needs to take a nap, I can just toss her into the wrap and it's night night, huh? Last thing that I keep down in the bottom, I haven't had to use this much recently, is a change of clothes. So I'll keep one snap onesie down in there and I also keep one long sleeve zippered footer that is, I don't really mind getting dirty. And that's everything for the inside of here. I also obviously will like tuck my phone and keys up in this top pocket, but I don't keep them in there all the time. And on the outside, one last thing I keep is this portable sound machine. I keep it on this little strap right here. So it's easy, easy to get to. But this little portable shot machine, I absolutely love this thing. We've used it in the hospital to drown out all the beeping and stuff. And I also use it if she falls asleep in her car seat, I'll attach it to like the car seat handle and keep her asleep in there. But it just makes really nice white noises. And is obviously really, really portable. You can change the sound and volume and stuff, but once you find a setting, you just leave it on it. So yeah, that is everything that we keep in the diaper bag for cloth diapering. I find that it's really not that much more difficult when, if you have one of these dry bags. Um, this one is really nice. I mean, you could really like take this as like almost, if you really were only going out for a little bit, you could just take this. But once you have one of these, it's really not any different besides you don't throw the diapers away. For me, I just, again, move them from that pocket, which is my clean diapers into this pocket, which is my dirty diapers. And I don't worry about spraying them off or anything. I will toss the liner if a trash can's available, but sometimes I don't even do that. Sometimes I just leave the liner in there and fold this up and kind of just like fold it shut and then put it in the dry bag. And I kind of just deal with them all when I get home. So it's easier when I'm home with my, with my spray pal. And you know, I have the time to like sort everything. So I sort, throw away the liner and I put this into our big dry bag. And then I normally will wash this as well. So. I hope that helps you guys if you are planning on going out with your little cloth diapered baby. Um, I would love if you would subscribe. I just did a Amazon live with that program comparing this diaper bag to a couple others you can get on Amazon. I would love if you would follow me there. I've got to get to 2000 followers by like tomorrow. So I will put the link for that down below. I would so, so, so appreciate it. If you go hit the follow button there, that would mean a lot to me. And Addie and I will see you next week. Bye.
Bye.